I want to become a better artist. So I challenged myself to draw every day for seven days in VR. I used the Vibe XR Elite as well as a super cool drawing app called Gesture VR to level up my drawing skills. Let's dive in and see how this seven day journey went and you're gonna come along with me. We got the seven days. No problem. I got my T, I got my XRE, we got everything we need. Day number one. Good morning and hello, my fellow VR enthusiasts. I'm super excited to explore seven days of drawing in virtual reality with you. I genuinely have no idea how I'm gonna feel after spending seven days of drawing in virtual reality, but I'm super excited to take you on this journey with me. Together, we will learn more about gesture drawing and how we can utilize VR to enhance our drawing experience. Gesture drawing can be, if not the most challenging, at least one of the most challenging things that you can do to improve your drawing skills. Today I want to go in and just draw freely, practice for one hour, and we will amp things up a bit as the week goes on. Let's do this! All right, here we go. Day number one. I really feel like I'm capturing the leg here on this figure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can definitely do a little bit better than this. Let's get to it. All right, we're officially starting day one. This is Gesture VR, and I'm gonna go over a few key tools that I found that made my day one drawing experience amazing. This is the main studio room. If you look around, it's pretty neat. I really love the vibe. This is one of a few different rooms that you can select. If you go to your settings, you can change to a darker studio mode with really nothing around you. And then you can also go to this white studio room. And then lastly, you have your pass through option which is super amazing with the Vive XR Elite. Another really cool thing is you can shrink your canvas down really small or you can make it super duper big. So this is super duper cool because you can't do this in the physical world but you can do this in VR which makes drawing in VR just so powerful. Another really cool thing we can do is we have several model options that you can go through. We have female, male, and miscellaneous. So there's a whole bunch of pages with several options, fantasy creatures, goblins, giants, crazy stuff like that. We have so many different options for figure drawing and lots of different models. Putting an orc in your room is kind of scary. Let's try it. <laughs> The next super cool tool I found was the tapering option, which is the top box and the main drawing menu. If you turn it on, you can see with the check mark here how the tapering has more pointed edges and then the bottom with the X, it's a little bit more squared. So you can have it taper off and be thin or have square like edges. On the bottom shows the different opacity settings. So you can turn opacity on where it will be lighter and go into darker, which I highly recommend for figure drawing. And then you can turn it off if you just want straight color and no opacity shift. Learning all these tools was super cool, but once I actually started drawing, I was really struggling with how much time I should put into each figure and just spending way too much time on details that didn't make me feel like I was improving. I literally started drawing mohawks on top of my characters to try and hide the pain. I'm just kidding, but I really knew that there had to be a better way, so I decided for day two I was gonna change this feeling. Day number two, oh my god. Day number two, we made it, we're here, I got my tea. And I think I'm gonna hop right in, I'm ready to go, ready to draw, let's do this. No, my, my, my. Sometimes it's nice to just jam out while I'm figure drawing. So I did a lot of that throughout my morning drawing routines with the Vivex XR Elite, it was pretty nice. Now to solve the problem I was having on day number one, I found one of my favorite things ever in Gesture VR, which is this timer section. At first, I wasn't really sure what this clock icon was all about. There was a 30, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, and then I thought, Oh, most artists when they gesture draw do timed increments because it really helps you focus on the bigger picture when you're drawing. 
So for day number two, I did at least three to four 30 second drawings, about two one minutes, about two two minute drawings, and then two five minute drawings. And I felt way better this time. I felt like I was improving. I felt like I had an objective with each increment. This is certainly the way to go. I was finally not needing to draw mohawks on my characters anymore because I was free from the pain that was, I have way too much time to draw this character and I just want to get better at art. So I'm really pumped with my progress on day number two and for day number three I decided to try something a little bit different with the XRE to see how it would make me feel. Day number three. It's been two days and I have already switched from tea to coffee. On a real note, I'm actually really, really pumped about how yesterday went. Using the timer versus not using the timer was a game changer. I felt like I was all over the place on day one. And then day two, I utilized the timer feature in Gesture VR and I felt like I was making actual progress. Today, we're gonna do the same thing with the timers, but I'm gonna mix it up a little bit by utilizing the power of the Vive XR Elite to move locations. I'm thinking it would be nice to have some cozy like room vibes while I'm painting today. Having the Vive XRE is like having magical Animal Crossing pockets. Bring it with you anywhere and have access to an unlimited world of potential. It's super hype. And I don't know about you, but I'm trying to be an Animal Crossing character in real life because here, that's pretty OP, dude. Just saying. <laughs> And most of the time you're pinned down to one location for modeling without having to move all your equipment. But again, the XRE has all of that in it. Which would you rather do, this or this? So I'm gonna move over to my room today to get a little bit more of the cozy vibes and we're gonna continue our time increments and see how much better we get today. Let's do this. I felt a tiny bit rusty, but the timers made me feel a little bit better kind of moving through and going through the motions. The big block that I started to run into today was, man, I'm really not drawing a lot of masculine figures. So I decided to start drawing some masculine figures and I feel like I took like eight steps backwards. With the history of my art, I've mostly drawn feminine characters because that's what I really enjoyed drawing. But now I realize there is a huge blind spot in my work. And I'm gonna have to face this day four, five, six, and seven. I can't run from a drawing masculine figures any longer. There has got to be a better way and I'm going to figure it out. I'm... No, not the flowers, bro. It's a sign of decay. My growth is going down. I'm never gonna get better at figure drawing. Well, I've officially run out of intros and it is only day four. I switched to coffee. I ran out of intros. Well, actually I'm drinking tea today. So I guess we've progressed in some areas. It's not a complete decay in the opposite direction. Honestly though, I am very happy with how this challenge is going. I've really, really been enjoying gesture drawing with the Vive XR Elite. And I am feeling super comfortable with the tools in VR with the Vive XR Elite. But I really, really want to get better at male figure drawing, especially as we've seen, this is a weakness. But I have the seven day journey to help me conquer that challenge and conquer we shall. We're gonna hop right into it and today I wanna focus on teaching some of the lessons I've learned about gesture drawing and figure drawing over the years, tools that you can use when you decide to start utilizing the Vive XR Elite as well as navigating through gesture VR or just drawing practice in general. So let's go learn some cool tools so you can get better at drawing. Let's do this. Here are a few tips to get the most out of your gesture drawing practice. The first thing you should start with is a circle for the head. Try to match the angle and tilt the head as it is on the figure. After that, you'll want to draw the line of action. The line of action is a line you draw from the head through the spine and down to the foot that has the most weight or gravity put into it. This helps you capture the general angle of the body. Next, you should block in the basic big shapes. I start with a square for the ribs in the center of the body, and after that, I draw in what I call the hip bowl. Next, you can draw lines to indicate where the legs and the arms are facing. You'll begin to build from there in whatever way works best for you to help you reach a more refined figure. There are many ways to continue building from here, but this should be a good starting point. We covered a lot of cool tips today and refreshing my memory on some of these tips too actually helped me draw a lot better. I was really happy with my five minute poses I did today. I'm feeling super strong about my drawings and I'm excited to continue to draw tomorrow and possibly once more tackle the masculine figure. 
Day number five, and all we need is good old H2O to reset and cleanse the mind, to cleanse the soul, so we can finish off this challenge strong and accomplish all of our goals. Wow, that rhymed, and I really did not plan that. I'm busy. I'm doing a drawing challenge. I cannot come to the door right now. Do you want to join us with the drawing challenge too? You think he understands? Look, you paint like this. He's like, I just want to sleep. Honestly, I think... I'm gonna dive deeper into working on the things that are out of my comfort zone. A big part about being an artist and growing as a creative is learning new tools like VR to draw. So today we're gonna tackle drawing the male figure as I expressed, I was very much struggling in the earlier days. And we're also gonna go for drawing some animals and really just try to break that comfort zone and I'll talk a little bit about it as I dive in and I hope that it really helps me fuel that part of my creative side that gets a little nervous to do things I'm uncomfortable with so that I can grow. And honestly, this whole challenge is really about that. So let's go crush it. Drawing male figures was definitely as challenging as it was as the previous days. However, knowing that I was going in with this mindset of this is something I need to get better at, it made me feel a lot better when things didn't go so well. Overall, I'm really proud of pushing myself in an area that I wasn't as good at and I'm really thankful that I can revisit and work on this anytime. Next, I dove into drawing animals and wow, it was completely different. However, starting with basic shapes like the circle and the box for the body and creating a line of action, all the things we learned earlier still really applied to drawing animals. So even though it was a bit more challenging, I still felt a bit more confident than I normally would without having understood those fundamentals. But again, I'm really glad that I decided to draw them and work on the zones that I am not as comfortable with. Day number six, yo, we have two days left. Honestly, I've learned so much. This has been really exciting so far. I'm feeling re-energized, feeling that day one energy. So we're gonna go in today and do a little bit of fabric drawing. We're gonna layer fabric on top of the figure and we're gonna see how that goes. Like I said, stretching your comfort zone as an artist is super important. And since we have the capability to switch models super easily with the XRE, we can try multiple things. So I'll see you in the headset. Drawing fabric was so difficult. Honestly, maybe even more difficult than drawing male figures. Granted, I haven't put a ton of time or practice into drawing fabric. This really gave me a run for my money. But you know what? It's okay. This doesn't have to be just seven days. I can continue to grow and move beyond the seven day challenge to continue to get better at drawing. Day number seven. This causes for celebration. We did it. Seven days of gesture drawing in VR. Oh my goodness. I really enjoy drawing, but one of my favorite parts about drawing is the art community. Gesture VR actually has a really cool connection feature where you can go paint or draw with your friends. We're gonna be using that feature today to celebrate a bit seven days of gesture drawing and to go show off our gesture skills. We'll get to talk to some more people that have used gesture VR and see how they feel about drawing in the app versus drawing in real life. Let's do this. Maybe, okay, do a really quick doodle to represent yourself, like something super quick. Uh... Everybody can work on it. <laughs> Hold your canvas up like next to your head. We're gonna have this next to you for your interview question. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I wasn't told that. <laughs> I don't know if I want this. <laughs> It represents you. Okay, perfect. So you guys are going to uh, draw this figure. You have 30 seconds. We're going to do a few rounds. We're going to do Jeez. two 30, 30 seconds. Yeah, we're going to do two to three 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm so bad. It looks beautiful. You're doing great. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Let's see how everyone did. I'm going to stay in your spot. I got, I got the arm. <laughs> Overall, my friends really enjoyed Gesture VR and their experience, and they had quite a lot to say about the whole competition and just overall their feelings, but we'll save that for another video. Lastly, I want to share with you my final thoughts. We have made it seven days of gesture drawing, figure drawing. Woo. Here are my best five minute pose drawings throughout the seven days. I didn't really see a whole lot of linear process with my gesture drawings, but I did feel like I was getting better in certain areas. So of course I had a little bit of improvement, definitely some places where I backtracked and I felt like I got worse, but that's a super natural part of drawing and the art experience. Seven days is certainly not enough to become a master figure artist. There are figure artists who draw and work on the human body for 
their entire life. But Gesture VR is a really good place to be able to help use this tool to enhance our gesture drawing. Having the XRE as a portable device was probably one of my favorite parts. I loved being able to go to different locations to draw. And of course, you could do this with a normal sketchbook as well, but having multiple options to choose from really mixes up the monotony of just drawing in your sketchbook or just changes it up if you need something different. Overall, I'm super duper excited I did this challenge. I'm very excited to try out more challenges with the Vive XR Elite. That being said, what kind of challenge would you be interested in seeing me do next? Drop a comment below and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Wonder how she did it. Mm.